So I have my five top tips on how to manage and prevent recurring yeast infections from happening naturally. My name is Adrian Rommel and I'm a certified holistic nutritionist specializing in nutrition and wellness for women's sexual health. And I'm here to talk about how to manage and prevent yeast infections naturally, especially chronic recurring yeast infections with the itching and the burning and the discharge and the discomfort that come along with the symptoms of a vaginal yeast infection, it can be extremely frustrating. And I know from experience, because I have experienced chronic yeast infections my entire sexually active adult life. Before I get into all the juicy details, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button below if you want to see more videos like this and click on the little bell notification to get notified when I create more videos for the bi-optimized woman. So I have my five top tips on how to manage and prevent recurring yeast infections from happening naturally. Again, getting to the root cause of the issue to heal it long term. But before I get into those juicy details, I wanted to explain the reasons why this keeps happening. Why we get chronic recurring yeast infections. Why do they keep happening over and over again? It blows my mind. And if, again, if you haven't gotten a yeast infection, you are so lucky. But it starts by understanding the root cause of the issue. And these yeast infections, especially if you get them chronically, are caused by a couple of different things and it's all connected to our gut health. The first one is an imbalance of our gut bacteria, an imbalance in our gut microbiome. And this is usually caused by a diet that is high in sugar, carbohydrates, processed foods, junk foods, alcohol, really just a poor diet. The second cause is long-term antibiotic use. Even if you used a ton of antibiotics as a child, that still really affects, negatively affects your gut health in the long term, even as an adult. The third one is long term contraceptive use, like oral birth control, for example. That can really have a negative impact on your hormones and therefore your gut health and vice versa. They are connected and the health of each of these things are dependent on each other. The fourth and final one is stress. I mean, this stuff just doesn't come out of nowhere. Usually yeast infections are triggered by something. It's either diet or it's stress. And this is what I've experienced and I've experienced working with other clients. So it's diet, a history of antibiotic use, a history of long-term oral contraceptive use, and stress is what leads to these chronic yeast infections, this gut health, imbalance in our gut microbiome which can cause these things to keep happening everything that we put into our mouths is connected to our gut health and therefore is connected to our vaginal health which can help us to manage and prevent these chronic yeast infections from moving forward and we can manage and prevent these yeast infections from happening by maintaining our gut health and I have five top tips to help you learn how to do that naturally. Number one is diet. What we are putting into our mouths, both with food and with drink, is super important to managing and preventing these yeast infections from recurring. And there are three main things that we have to be mindful of when we wanna focus on our diet. The first one is we need to eliminate the inflammatory foods, which are dairy, gluten, and sugar. These are the things that are causing inflammation in our gut and literally feeding the bad bacteria and causing it to overgrow in our gut. The second tip that I have is reducing significantly or even eliminating carbohydrates, processed foods, and junk foods from your diet. 
you want to make sure that you're really reducing your carbohydrates because the way they are digested in the body, if they're not burned off, converts to sugar. And processed foods and junk foods we know that those are bad for us. Anything that is artificial, we need to eliminate from our diet. And my third point is we need to include all natural foods. We need to include foods that are gonna promote digestion. We need to include foods that are natural, fresh, and whole. I always, I have a rule, if it grows, eat it. If it doesn't grow, eat it. <laughs> or don't eat it. If it doesn't grow, don't eat it. <laughs> But we want to, again, eat the foods that are going to promote digestion, which is good fats, low starch vegetables and carbohydrates, and good sources of protein. My second tip are supporting your gut health with supplements, as well as taking specific supplements to eliminate the bad bacteria overgrowth and replenish the good bacteria. So the first supplement that I can recommend that will help with that, thank goodness for Bi Optimizers products because they have this herbal parasite cleanse which has all kinds of natural antifungal ingredients included in it. So this will help to eliminate the bad bacteria so that we can make room to replenish the good bacteria both with diet and with other probiotics. The second type of supplement that we want to take is daily supportive gut health supplements. And this is where Bioptimizers can also help us as well. Luckily, they have these two products, which are Magnesium Breakthrough and the Primerogen um, Multivitamin B Complex Liquid Formula. So both of these supplements help to support our gut health while we are eliminating the bad bacteria and replenishing the good bacteria. Last but not least, and one of the most important ones are probiotics. These probiotics, and again, thank you to Bioptimizers for creating this probiotic P3OM, which is amazing to replenish the good bacteria. So we wanna eliminate the bad bacteria with the herbal parasitic blend, we want to support the gut health with a liquid vitamin B and multivitamin formula as well as magnesium. And then we want to replenish the good bacteria by using a probiotic. And this is where Bioptimizers can help. I would love to hear if you have any suggestions or recommendations on supplements that have worked for you. Please share in the comments below because it'll help so many women who are going through this as well. My third tip is managing stress. It is so important because let's be honest, like I mentioned earlier, these yeast infections just don't happen out of nowhere. They're usually triggered by something and usually that's either diet, sex or stress. And stress is the number one trigger of recurring yeast infections. I know it has been my trigger for my chronic yeast infections in my experience and experience in working with clients. And it causes our gut health and gut microbiome to go out of balance because it disrupts our hormone balance, it causes inflammation in our guts, and it messes with our normal digestion. If you ever notice that when you're stressed, you either go to the bathroom a lot or you're not going to the bathroom enough. It either causes you to have diarrhea or constipation when you're stressed. So we need to learn how to manage our stress as best as we can. Think about all the things that are causing you stress in your life. How can you manage those stresses? How can you reduce or eliminate the stress in your life? How can you practice self-care practices, which is my fourth tip on how to manage and prevent yeast infections because self-care is so important to help us manage stress help us keep on track with living a healthy lifestyle and practicing things like yoga, meditation, exercising, things to boost our happy hormones. We need to get lots of sleep, prioritize rest, do the things that make us happy, laugh, play, spend time with family, friends, make love, 
spend time with ourselves and just really focus on giving ourselves that self-love and self-care that sometimes we neglect to give ourselves. My fifth and final tip is making sure that you're practicing good sexual hygiene practices, especially if you're prone to recurring yeast infections. And that means urinating before and after sex, washing your genitals with warm water after sex, never wiping back to front. <laughs> Never wiping back to front. You never want to cross contaminate bacteria. You always want to wipe front to back. Those are examples of sexual hygiene practices, but also vaginal hygiene practices like don't sit in wet clothing, either wet bathing suits or sweaty workout clothes. Let your vagina breathe as much as you can at night when you're sleeping. Take your underwear off. Those types of things can help us manage and prevent chronic recurring yeast infections. Those are just five of the many tips that I have to manage and prevent chronic yeast infections from happening. And if you have any other suggestions, I would love to hear them in the comments below. I would love to hear if you have any kind of other suggestions or experiences of how you've been able to eliminate yeast infections naturally. The quality of your life is determined by the quality of your health. And there are so many ways that you can naturally manage and prevent recurring yeast infections from happening. I know because I've done it and it's worked for me and the many clients that I've worked with and helped. We've got diet, we've got supplements, there is managing stress, self-care and self-love practices, sexual hygiene practices. All of these things will help you to rebalance your gut bacteria so that you can manage and prevent recurring yeast infections from happening in the future. Our goal is to help you become the superhuman version of yourself, the bi-optimized woman. If you are enjoying these videos and want to see more videos like this, I would love to hear from you. Please share your comments in the comment section below and let me know what else do you want to hear about? What else do you want me to talk about? Any kind of women's sexual health or women's health topics, I am so excited to cover and share as much information as I can with you. Thanks for watching and see you next time.